guys in today's class i will be showing you how to purchase a web hosting and a domain name to host any website online okay basically to set up a website online you need to purchase a web hosting and a domain name okay in our previous classes we were working with a local host okay that is our website is only accessible on our system but when you move a website to an online web hosting anybody in the world will be able to access that website okay your website will be identifiable by a particular domain name okay so for a while i'm going to explain the concept of a domain name and a web hosting okay now when you have a website okay a website is like a set of files okay a website is like a set of files okay what makes up almost any website is like a set of files and uh, a web hosting you for you for your files to be accessible on the web you need to purchase a space okay so i will most liken it to a car okay i will liken a website to a car okay so now you have a car which is for example your website now you want to park your car somewhere okay to park your car in a particular maybe an event or you know a special place a special location you need to pay a small parking fee okay so that parking uh, fee you are paying to get a parking spot is likened to your hosting so i will say your hosting your web hosting is equals to the parking space okay so that's what i would liken is as the, your car is a website your web hosting is the parking space now when you want to come and uh, let's say you want to access your car or you want to maybe you want to repark or you want to take something from your car or you want to wash your car how do you identify your car they give you they probably give you you know a special number or the parking space has a special number or the name of your car at least i can say those are the three ways you know you use to identify your car so that means of identification how you identify your car is is what i'm going to liken as the domain name okay so i'll say the domain name is equals to how you identify your car okay so a website is likened to your car web hosting is likened to the parking space where you park your car and the domain name is how you identify your car okay and the domain name is also equals to the web address all right so i'm very sure we have all seen a web address you know what a web address is a web address is just something like www.google.com so that's just what a web an example of a web address facebook.com that's a web address uh yahoo.com that's a web address uh alibaba.com that's a web address jumia.com.ng is a web address so this is what uh, a web address looks like that is the unique identifier of your website okay so that is how you access your website on the internet but before you access your website on the internet how do you host that website on the internet that is what you do when you get a web hosting so that is the job of a web hosting okay and now uh, looking into that there are several web hosting companies okay all over the world there are several web hosting companies all over the world and it's just left to you to you know make a choice to know which one you take there are hosting companies in nigeria and there are also hosting companies outside nigeria okay so it depends on okay which one serves you more which one is cheaper for you which one is affordable which one is you know scalable so it's just you know, what it depends on your choice okay so i'm going to make a list of some of the most popular uh, web hosting and domain name providers i use so uh i use the name cheap there are so many of them but i'll just give you the list of the ones i know and i've used at different occasions uh host gator there is bluehost there is uh, uh there's another one name cheap host gator 
GoDaddy, yeah. There's GoDaddy. Okay, so these are some of the web hosting and domain name providers I have used. Okay, and these guys are international web hosting companies. Okay, these four are all international web hosting companies. Okay, now there are some in Nigeria. Let me international. I'll say popular international web hosting companies okay now there are also web hosting companies in Nigeria okay and I've used some of them and they are also very good okay so some web hosting companies in Nigeria uh, web hosting companies in Nigeria I won't list too much I'll just list the ones I've used so you can you know start up with them for you know a better uh, you know experience I've used Google host that is in Nigeria I've used smart web that's in Nigeria I've used uh, Q servers in Nigeria so these three are the ones I've used in Nigeria so if you make a Google search of uh, web hosting companies in Nigeria you're going to see a very long list there are so many web hosting companies in Nigeria but you know, not many of them actually that reliable sorry to say so these are the three I've used that I know that okay they are actually good and uh, using a web hosting in Nigeria for you as a beginner is actually going to be a bit you know it's going to be cheaper for you on like using international web hosting because you know you are go going to be paying in dollars for your web hosting if it's an international web hosting you know so it's going to cost you more so if, if you're using web hosting companies in Nigeria it will be cheaper for you for as low as uh, I think even with 500 Naira you can host your website per month all right so those are just some of the web hosting companies I've used all right so now we we'll go straight into business uh, how to purchase a web hosting and domain name to host a website okay so I'm going to pick uh, one of these guys so I will use a uh, let me use Google host as my point of practice okay so let's visit Google host but what I'm going to show you here is basically the same process with any other web hosting company just go there select your domain uh, pick the hosting package uh, check out instantly your domain and hosting gets activated that is the way every one of them works okay so what I will show you here you can also apply it to other web hostings okay so I'm going to use Google host uh, as a sample so I'm going to say Google host .com. so that's how you get started Okay, so this is the Google host website and uh, let me log out because I'm logged in I'm very sure I have an account logged in here because I have domains on Google host so I'm going to log out then visit the website back as a fresh new user okay okay so this is the Google host website now the first thing you need to do, uh, in fact, the first thing they want you to do to get started is to pick a domain name, okay? So before hosting a website, you need to get a domain name for this website, okay? And note that these things, uh, you renew them every year. You renew your domain name and you renew your hosting every year, okay? So if you purchased your domain name on the 1st of January, by next year you have to renew your domain name by 1st of january if you purchase your domain name on the i mean your hosting on 1st of january next year 1st of january you have to renew your hosting as well so it's a one year it also depends on how you purchase there is one year plan there is two year plan there is a three year plan and as many as you know as much as you want to subscribe for okay so the first thing you need to do is you need to purchase your domain name okay so by now you should have figured out a domain name to use so all you just need to do is come here and type in a domain name you are going to use okay so I'm just going to use something really random because I'm not going to be purchasing it but I'm going to show you how to actually purchase it and the checkout process 
and you know from there everything else is just straightforward that's the way it's it's just going to work for you okay i'll also be showing you how it looks like after you activate your hosting so where you get directed to and how to access your hosting all right so i'm going to use uh let me just type in a domain name i'll say buy a computer online dot com name is dot ng okay so the first thing i need to do is to search for this domain name so i will press enter okay so i need to check if that domain name is available for purchase if it's not available for purchase that means someone else has taken that domain okay so now what i'll do the domain name is here so just click on search so the domain name is going to the google is going to search to see if that domain name is available okay so that will take a while so now they say congratulations buy a computer online dot com dot ng is available and here is the price of the domain 1200 that is for one year okay if you check dot com let's see if dot com is available although i would doubt so let me see yeah i'm very sure it's can so buy computer online dot com is unavailable so that means someone else has taken this domain and used it to host their website so that's why i just put dot ng behind it so i'm sure nobody will have taken that okay So once you get the message that it's available the next thing you need to do is to add that domain to the cart okay so we are buying something online that's just the way it looks so you need to add it to the cart so just come over here click on add to cart here okay so now the next thing you need to do you need to check out okay so let's check out click on check out here all right so now you can see domain configuration and please review your domain name selections and any add-ons available okay so now what we need to do uh we've added the domain name to the cart now the next thing you need to do is to add the hosting okay so you need to add a web hosting that will go with the domain name so when you do this it's going to be configured together with the domain name so everything will begin to work instantly okay so now they want you to add your web hosting so just come below here and click no hosting click to add so just click that to add your web hosting okay so now these are the web hosting packages google host has okay so you can see there are so many packages there's one of 500 naira per month 700 naira per month 750 naira per month uh two one per month and two five per month okay so now the how, how how do you you know choose the best plan for you it all depends on number one your budget and number two the type of website you are planning you know to set up on the internet okay so if you are setting up a website with very powerful features a lot of uh, you know hey this and that and you are expecting a lot of people to visit that website you should not go for anything less than uh, you know this 950 months per plan else uh, for practice purposes or just a small blog and stuff like that you are good to go with the 500 naira per month plan okay so it's all on you you can select any of the packages as your wallet permits all right so let's just take this 500 per month and click on order now okay all right so now i'll uh, choose a domain we've already taken that so we'll just click on use a domain already in my shopping cart okay remember we have already taken the domain so just click on that all right and then this is it here now click on use okay so now we are getting to the checkout area and this is the hosting package we are buying and then now we are going to choose the billing cycle okay so do you want to pay monthly or do you want to pay quarterly that is every uh three months 
okay that's every three months or do you want to pay semi annually that is every six months or do you want to pay every year that's annually or do you want to pay every two years do you want to subscribe for two years upfront that's biennially or triennially every three years so the choice is just left to you so let's just take monthly first it will be good for you too if you are just you know testing things out it's not maybe not for long-term usage and you know that and that now once you select all your options just come here and click on continue all right okay so now this is the checkout page so what we need to do this just to confirm what we put in the cart okay this is the hosting and this is the domain okay you can see the domain here and you can see the hosting so now what we need to do this is the currency you'll be paying in naira i recommend you leave it like that okay so now i want to check out so all you need to do basically is to click on checkout okay so they want us to fill in our details before checking out okay so because they are also going to use those details to create an account for us okay so this is the total amount uh, you know we we'll use to actually set up the domain and our hosting for one year that's the domain for one month and the hosting for one year so this is the amount we're going to be using to actually set that up so they already estimated that for you so let us just fill in some details if you are a new customer all you need to do is just type in your name your last name your email your phone number your billing address street address and everything in you know, all of that in nigeria you know enter everything all the information they ask you is just simple fill the form where do you about them fill everything and then once you are done or you uh okay domain registrant okay just select on this so it will use all the information you also added here now for payment how you pay for me i would recommend you pay with uh, pay stack okay that is just by paying online with your card it will be very easy and it will make your hosting setup instant if you pay with bank payment details you will have to first of all transfer to their bank manually and then you now start calling them to you know tell them oh i paid the amount please can my hosting account be activated and they will tell you give us 48 hours and stuff like that you really don't want to go through that so you should use pay stack to pay for your hosting on google host or any other nigerian hosting company okay so you should make sure you use pay stack and once you do that instantly the hosting is going to be activated for you so once you filled everything all you need to do is to check out okay and if you have an existing account with google host like i do you don't need to fill in all this okay all you just need to do is use your existing uh you know customer login details to log in to your google host account so once you do that it's going to take in all the details and just add the domain and the hosting to your account so that is just that and once you are done with that all you need to do is just click on checkout so once you do that an invoice will be generated for you okay i need to accept their terms and conditions somewhere at the bottom so make sure you do that too so tick that okay so you can see i've logged in and it has taken my details so you see so uh just click on checkout and it will generate an invoice for you from there all you need to do is pay for your web hosting which will be you know activated immediately so this is the invoice page as you can see so all you need to and look at the amount you are paying so what you need to do now is just pay all right so total due one seven payment method please click on pay stack so that will take you okay so that has reloaded and now click on pay with pay stack and once you do that it's going to bring in a pop-up all you just need to do is enter in your card details 
uh, your name, your email, and all of that. Once you do that, you get an uh, authentication code, authentication code, sorry, to your phone, and then you you know verify the transaction, and that's all. Once the transaction is successful, your hosting and your domain will come active immediately. You also get email, or uh, not even email, you get emails from them with all your hosting account information and how you know to actually get started and log in to your various accounts here and there. So once you do that, just click on pay with pay stack. I don't want to click this. If I click this, I'll be charged because I already have my card details with these guys. So once I do that, I'll be charged immediately. So, but that is just how to actually do it. Once you click on pay with space stack, it's going to be you know, once it's successful, it will direct you straight to your hosting account area. Okay, so that is that for today on how to purchase a web hosting and a domain name. Okay, so in one of our next classes, I'm going to show you the uh, you know, a typical domain name account i mean it, not a domain name account a typical hosting or you know client area account okay that is the area you have access to when you actually purchase a domain and a hosting so i'm going to show you a typical one and you know we'll be moving around the c panel and you will see the way it actually looks like and how to manage a full website from it so we are going to be looking at that in one of our next classes so that is that for today's class Thank you for participating and I hope to see you again. Good luck.